Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and welcome to a quick tip. I actually got a couple of requests recently about how I do syntax highlighting uh, in either my books or in uh, blog posts on Game from Scratch. And the truth of the matter is, this is one of those things I struggled with. There's a bunch of solutions out there, tons and tons of solutions out there, and some work much better than others. Originally, I was using um, actual plugins for uh, my blog on. Um, in Windows Live Writer, and it worked sort of. They kept corrupting, they kept failing. Uh, it's just sort of a complete and gigantic pain in the butt. And then over time, I found a solution that works perfectly, and it's a program called Highlight. So I figured I'd share with you today. Uh, you can download it itself. The nice thing is it's completely and utterly free. Uh, it runs on, um, well, at the very least, it runs on Windows and Mac, but on Mac, there is no GUI front end. It's all terminal-based. So basically, I've ended up creating a bunch of little scripts for the different languages. So I'll highlight Lua, highlight C++, highlight C Sharp, etc. That I just quickly run, and it automatically copies whatever in my uh, um, terminal buffer out, formats it, and then copies it back to the buffer. Very easy. So basically, run the script and then paste, and I'm set. Uh, but in Windows, it's even better because there's a, a GUI interface available. Plus, there's a command line option. Um, I think it works in Linux as well, but I'm not 100% positive there. But it's available at Andre, A N D R E dash Simon, S I M O N dot D E, um, and then forward slash doku, D O K U, forward slash highlight. And it is a very, very awesome program. Uh, as I said, again, it's completely free. I think he accepts donations. Uh, da -da -da -da. Maybe even not that. So, uh, great program. Thank you, Andre, for creating this. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he does accept donations anyway. So, regardless, the nice thing is you pick your language. For example, here's an example I just recently did in C Sharp. And the process of getting this out uh, and into my blog, I would go copy my source code like this. I would go over and run highlight, which oh, I guess I'll do this from scratch. Uh, I run highlight, which is right there. And it brings up this program. Uh, you pick your language, of which there are very, very many, pretty much every language you want, or like in the case of Godot, I just select Python, for example. Uh, but here I'll go over to C Sharp. I paste my code from the clipboard. Here's my automated preview of the end results. And then, say, if I'm working on a blog, um, I use my, I traditionally use LiveWriter, um, at least on Windows. Uh, I use MarsEdit on Mac, if you care. Uh, but here is my blog template. I say basically paste it out to HTML. I set the options because I want fully inline style sheets, uh, like so. And you can also set the formatting, the results that you wish. And then just copy the clipboard. And I go over here, switch into source, and then just quick div drop, like so. And I paste in the inline CSS results, switch over to edit, and there is my code ready to be sent up to a blog. Very, very, very nice. Now the question where it gets kind of tricky is what happens when you can't use HTML as your export source? Well, Highlight's got you covered here too. And this is a very, very cool feature. Uh, I go over here to General, and instead of HTML, I pick one of various other formats, such as LaTeX, which is the formatting, way beyond what I want to do. I generally just go with RTF. Nice and simple, rich text format. And again, just copy it out, like so. Pick a uh, file that supports RTF, such as uh, WordPad built in, or um, Microsoft Word, or pretty much every single word processor supports RTF, and then paste. And there you go. Your code, nicely highlighted, syntax-wise, in RTF format. So a very, very, very handy program. And let's say you want to do something a little bit more style, stylistically nice. Um, you can come in here and change your theme up. So over here I've been using Be Clear, which is a straight white background setting. If we want to do a dark, I often use, uh, which one do I use? Pandas. So here's a nice dark background. Uh, you can set it for smart tabbing, so uh, smart wrapping if it's uh, past a certain point or to have it scroll off the end. And here you can see the result on, so say this line right here. And watch it turn line wrapping on. See, it automatically splits it at the smart point, knowing what kind of a variable you're dealing with. Uh, you can have line numbering if you wished. Uh, you change your fonting up, etc. Change your tab sizes, and again, copy it out. Now, 
this is the one challenge. Uh, a lot of times your background isn't copied over. It depends on the program you're dealing with. So sometimes you'll have to come in and actually set uh, your background color, uh, which I don't actually know how to do. Here. Like so. Again, not ideal. Stick with white when you're dealing with word processor if you can help it. Uh, but the option is there. You can, And if you do the same thing over to, let's say, uh, HTML, with this, uh, let's do uh, copied out. So we're copying that HTML out. Then when you're pasting it in to your blog software, when you do your div, just do div style equals uh, background color colon black. Paste, close, close your div, and back, and done. Now, this is one of those things that I actually just copied in HTML that's not completely valid for my blog software. And that's why you're seeing this. It's actually affecting the whole thing. That's because it, the uh, generated HTML that this is bringing out includes uh, HTML tags, head tags, body tags, etc. Things that aren't valid in a blog post. Now, the nice thing of a blog engine is I flip back to the source, flip back to edit, and it automatically strips all of those things out, uh, all the illegal characters out. And then there you go. So quick tip, that is what I use for syntax highlighting. Uh, it is super fast, super quick workflow. Uh, once again, the website for it is uh, andre-simon.de. Uh, great program, completely free. Check it out. Cheers. Bye.